Nirvisesha Shunyavadi Paschacha Deshatarine Vancha Kaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patita Nam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasate Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So we're reading the Krishna book and we're on chapter number 48, beginning chapter 48 tonight. Krishna pleases his devotees. So, Hare Krishna, sorry. Who's recording? I'm recording on my okay. Facebook page. Oh, okay, sorry, Guru Maharaj. Is any, do you want, do, are you supposed to, okay, yeah, okay. Recording in progress. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Yes, Hare Bo. He's like my humble obeisance yesterday, always to Sri Prabhupada. Today yeah. we have Kanupuri Amaji for the translation. Yeah, we already started. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Uddhava delivered the message to the gopis, and after delivering the message to Vrindavan, to the gopis, and then Uddhava went back to Mathura and told Lord Krishna about what happened. Uh, so for days together, Krishna heard from Uddhava all the details of his visit to Vrindavan. Uddhava told Krishna about the condition of his father and mother, Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda, and of all the gopis and the cowherd boys. So Lord Krishna was fully satisfied that Uddhava had been able to solace all of the Brijbasi people by his instructions. And Uddhava also had delivered the message Lord Krishna had given him to give to them, to the, the gopis. So Lord Krishna then decided <coughs> Lord Krishna decided to go to the house of Kubja, who was a hunchback woman. <coughs> But Krishna had straightened her and she'd become a very beautiful young woman. And so Kubja had pleased Krishna when she offered Krishna all the sandalwood pulp. When, he, when Krishna was entering Mathura, she offered all the sandalwood pulp to Lord Krishna. So 
So Krishna always tries to please his devotees because the devotees try to please Krishna, so Krishna also wants to please the devotees. So Krishna is always in the heart of the devotees. The devotees always think of Krishna. And Krishna always thinks of the devotees within his heart. So Kubja was made into a beautiful society girl. And she wanted Krishna to come to her place and her idea, she was thinking that she could uh, receive him nicely and worship him in her own way. So society girls, society girls, like hospitality girls, they're very expert to satisfy their customers by giving their bodies for the men to enjoy. But this particular society girl, Kubja, she was captivated by Krishna and she wanted to satisfy her lust by satisfying Krishna. So Krishna desired to go to the house of Kubja, but it doesn't mean he had a desire just to go for sense gratification. Kubja had already satisfied Krishna's senses when she gave him the sandalwood pulp. But Krishna decided he wanted to go to her house. He wanted to give her sense gratification. Krishna didn't actually just want sense gratification, but he wanted to make Kubja into a pure devotee. Krishna has many thousands of goddesses of fortune who are all serving him. So Krishna doesn't need to satisfy his senses by going to a society girl. But Krishna is kind to everyone, so he decided to go to see Kubja. Just, we give the example, just like the moon, it doesn't matter where it is, it may be a bad person, but still the moon will shine on that bad person in the, in the house or in the courtyard of that bad person. So anybody who gives service to Krishna, even if they serve Krishna through their lust or their anger or their fear, 
or their pure love, they can all get the mercy of Krishna. Just like Kamsa was always thinking of Krishna because he thought Krishna is going to come and kill him. And Sishupal was always envious and angry to Krishna. And Kubja, she has lust for Krishna. But the gopis, they have pure love for Krishna. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, it says that if somebody wants to serve Krishna and at the same time they want to satisfy their lusty desires, then Krishna will, will make arrangements. Krishna will arrange that the devotee will forget their lusty desires. And they will become purified and they will engage in the service of Krishna. They wanted to serve Krishna and they also had lusty desires, but Krishna arranged they forgot the lusty desires. So, Krishna came along with Uddhava to the house of Kubja. And Kubja was very eager to get Krishna to satisfy her lusty desires. So when Krishna came to the house of Kubja, he came in the house, then he saw how it was all decorated just to make a man more lusty, to increase the desires, the lusty desires of a man. There were pictures of naked women and, you know, there were these kind of pictures put on the walls around the house. And there were, there were different necklaces and flags all decorating the walls. And there were many beds and big chairs and cushions everywhere. And all the rooms had different, had many flower garlands, so there was a nice smell of the flowers and they were burning incense in the room. And they were sprinkled some scented water in the rooms also. 
แล้วก็มีการพรมพรมน้ําหอมตามตามห้องต่างๆ And there were nice lamps, oil lamps were burning in the rooms, so the rooms were very attractive, very sensual. แล้วก็มีตะเกียงไฟที่มีแสงสลดสลัวทำให้รู้สึกดึงดูดแล้วก็ทำให้รู้สึกมีสเสน่ห์ So when Kupja saw that Krishna had come to her house, he, 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 had, he had promised her he would come to her house. So when she saw Krishna actually come to her house, then she was very happy. พอ Krishna เห็น Krishna มาปุ๊บพอกุบจ้าเห็นกฤษณามาปุกที่บ้านก็รู้สึกดีใจมากเพราะว่ากฤษณาเนี่ยได้สัญญากับตัวเองไว้ว่าจะมาแล้วกฤษณาก็มา And she got up and came to receive him and all the many girls and other young women who were in there who were also society girls they all came and they all began to talk with Krishna they came to receive him and give respect and honor Krishna แล้วกุบจาก็รีบลุกขึ้นมาต้อนรับทันทีแต่ว่ากุบจาไม่ได้อยู่คนเดียวอยู่กับมีเพื่อนๆสาวๆเต็มไปหมดมาแล้วก็มาต้อนรับพูดคุยกับกฤษณาแล้วก็ให้ความเคารพกฤษณาอย่างดี So k u b j a offered Krishna she gave Krishna a nice seat to sit on and then she worshipped Krishna กฤษณาเอ่อกุบจาก็ถวายที่นั่งอย่างดีให้กับกุบให้กับกฤษณาแล้วก็ Udama was also given respect and worship, but he did not sit on the same level as Krishna. He sat on the floor. Udama ก็ได้รับการต้อนรับเหมือนกับที่ Krishna ได้ได้รับการต้อนรับเลยแต่ว่า Udama เนี่ยไม่ยอมนั่งอยู่กับเก้าอี้ในระดับเดียวกันกับ Krishna เนี่ย Udama นั่งอยู่บนพื้น So Krishna. Went into the bedroom of Kubja, and then Kubja, for, she saw Krishna going to her bedroom, so she went to take her bath, and she covered, her, put on her, put nice fragrant sandalwood pulp on her body. แล้วพอกฤษณาเนี่ยก็เข้าไปในห้องนอนของกุบจาพอกุบจาเห็นปุ๊บเนี่ยตัวเองก็เลยไปอาบน้ำแล้วก็ชโลมร่างกายด้วยกระแจกจันเนี่ยก็คือผมธนาคารนั่นแหละที่หอมนะคะแล้วก็ประดับประดาษอย่างสวยงาม And she dressed herself with nice clothes and put on jewelry and a flower garland ก็แต่งตัวสวยงามใส่เสื้อผ้าอย่างสวยงามแล้วก็ใส่พวกเครื่องประดับต่างๆแล้วก็พวงมาลัยดอกไม้ And she chewed some nice betel nut and different things which were intoxicating You know, which would increase the lust in her body. And she put nice, uh, fragrant, very powerful perfumes on her. So, when she appeared before Krishna, she was very attractive, very smelling, very fragrant. แล้วก็ฉีดน้ําหอมมายังหอมมากกลิ่นน้ําหอมนั้นเนี่ยเป็นกลิ่นน้ําหอมที่ดึงดูดมากๆพอออกมาอยู่ที่หน้ากฤษณาเนี่ยดูแบบสง่าสวยมีสเสน่ห์หอมมากๆ She was a young woman at this time She had remember just a few days earlier she'd been a hunchback woman and Krishna had straightened her ตอนนี้เนี่ยกุบจะกลายเป็นผู้หญิงสาวสวยแต่ว่าถ้ามองไปเนี่ยก็เหมือนกับลืมว่าตัวเองเนี่ยเคยเป็นกุบจ้าหลังค่อมผู้หญิงหลังค่อม So although she was in a, the built in this room in this house with all the society girls she herself she was she was chased she'd never been touched by another man ถึงแม้จะเป็นสาวสังคมแล้วก็อยู่กับเพื่อนสาวมากมายเนี่ยแต่ว่าเป็นผู้หญิงที่ค่อนข้างที่จะเรียบร้อยแล้วก็ไม่เคยโดนผู้ชายที่ไหนแตะตรง Because when she was a hunchback, you know, other men were not interested in her. It was only just a few days that Krishna had made her very beautiful. So she, she, no man had touched her up till the time Krishna came there. 
พราะกุกจ่าเนี่ยเคยเป็นผู้หญิงลำคอมเพราะฉะนั้นก็จะไม่มีผู้ชายคนไหนมาสนใจแล้วก็มายุ่งกับตัวเธอเพราะว่าไม่กี่วันก่อนหน้านี้กุชนาเพิ่งจะแปลงโฉมเธอให้เป็นผู้หญิงสาวสวยเพราะฉะนั้นยังไม่เคยกุกจ่ายังไม่เคยโดนผู้ชายที่ไหนแต่ต้องตัวเลย So she made herself very attractive and she was smiling to Krishna and but at the same time she was very shy and she stood there before Krishna. So Kupja, she was, you know, shy. No, no man had touched her. She was hesitating to come in front of Krishna. But Krishna is Madhava. He is the husband of the goddess of fortune. So he he just took hold of her hand. And he brought her onto the bed where he was laying. Yeah, he brought her near to where he was sitting, and she came and sat beside him. Krishna ก็เลยพาปุ๊บจะเดินมาใกล้ๆแล้วก็พามานั่งที่ที่กฤษณานั่งอยู่แล้วก็ให้นั่งข้างๆ So Kupja because she had given that sandalwood to Krishna you know initially she was making the sandalwood pulp for Kamsa but when she met Krishna she gave it to Krishna so because she offered it to Krishna she became free from all of her sinful reactions เพราะว่าตอนแรกเนี่ยที่กุบจ้าเนี่ยเคยถวายกระแจจันรวพงศ์ตนาคาเนี่ยให้กับกฤษณาเรียบร้อยแล้วแต่ความจริงเนี่ยพงศ์นั้นเนี่ยกุบจ้าเนี่ยจะทําถวายให้กับกรรมซาอยู่เสมอแต่พอเอาพงศ์นั้นมาถวายให้กับกฤษณาเนี่ยกฤษณาก็ให้กุบจ้าเนี่ยได้รับอิสรภาพหลุดพ้นจากผลบาปทั้งหมดอยู่แล้ว And now because she's free of all of her sinful reactions she's able to enjoy with Krishna So she took Krishna's lotus feet and placed them on her chest. And by smelling the fragrance of Krishna's lotus feet, she got free of all her lusty desires. จากการที่ได้ดมกลิ่นหอมจากประบาดรูปดอกบัวของกฤษณาเนี่ยราคาต่างๆของกุบจาที่มีเนี่ยก็หมดไปหมดไปเลยทนปิดหมดไปแบบปิดทิ้ง And then she was able to embrace Krishna with her arms. แล้วจากนั้นเนี่ยกุบจาก็สามารถที่จะกอดกฤษณาด้วยแขนของตนเอง And in this way, Krishna satisfied her desire. To have Krishna, Krishna as a visitor in her house. So, in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna said, "You have to be free of all sinful reactions before you can do devotional service for Krishna." ในพระโคตรกิตาเนี่ยได้กล่าวไว้ว่าเราจะต้องเป็นอิสระจากผลบาปทั้งหมดก่อนก่อนที่เราจะสามารถที่จะรับใช้กฤษณาด้วยใจรักทิพย์ได้ So because Kubja had supplied the sandalwood pulp to Krishna, Kubja was free of all of her sinful reactions. เพราะว่ากุบจาเนี่ยได้ถวายกระแจจันให้กับกฤษณากุบจาก็เลยเป็นอิสระจากผลบาปทั้งหมดทันที Kubja had never been trained to worship Krishna in any other way. Kubja ne mei khoi dai lap kan fuk fon hai kan bucha nei kan ti ja bucha Krishna doi vi thi nai lu. She just wanted to. 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 So in the Bhagavad Gita, it says that Krishna can be worshipped according to everyone's profession. Whatever work you do, you can do it for Krishna. 
ในบังกัดกีตาก็มีกล่าวไว้ว่าเราเนี่ยสามารถที่จะบูชากริชนาได้ด้วยอาชีพหรือด้วยความสามารถใดๆของเราก็ตามเราสามารถถวายให้กริชนาได้กริชนาก็จะยอมรับนั้น The main thing is that whatever job you're doing, you do it for the pleasure of Krishna. สิ่งสำคัญก็คือไม่ว่าเราทำงานอะไรก็ตามเนี่ยเราควรทำเพื่อสนองความต้องการของกริชนา So Kubja, she asked Krishna. She said to Krishna, "Can you please stay with me for a few days and enjoy with me?" Kubja, เนี่ยบอกกับกริชนาว่าอยู่อยู่กับข้าอีกสักสองสามวันหน่อยได้ไหม Kubja said, "I don't want to be without you. I want you to stay here with me. Please grant me this request." ผมจะบอกว่าฉันไม่อยากอยู่โดยที่ไม่มีเธอเลยฉันอยากที่ที่จะอยู่ด้วยกันแบบนี้อีกสักหลายหลายวันช่วยทำตามคำขอนี้ได้ไหม So you should understand, Krishna has many different potencies. เราต้องเข้าใจว่ากริชนาเนี่ยมีพลังหลายหลายรูปแบบ And Kubja represents the b u s h a k t i potency of Krishna. แล้วก็กุบจาเนี่ยได้แสดงถึงพลังบูชาสติบูชาสติบูชาสติ Yeah, Radharani is the Chit Shakti, and Kubja she's the b u s h a k t i Radharani เนี่ยเป็นพลังแห่งชิตชิตชักติแต่ว่ากุบจาเนี่ยจะเป็นพลังของบูชาสติ Yes. Bo, actually, Kubja is like the expansion of one of Krishna's wives, Satya Bama. Satya Bama was one of Krishna's main wives in Dwarka, and so Kubja was like a partial expansion of Satya Bama. l a m i p a n a n g Satya Bama เนี่ยจะเป็นพระมเหสีหลักของกริชนาอยู่ที่ดวาริกาเนี่ยเพราะฉะนั้นกุบจาเนี่ยจะเป็นเหมือนกับพลังที่แบ่งแยกออกมาจากสัตตบาม So Kubja wanted Krishna to stay with her for several days. กุบจาเนี่ยอยากที่จะให้กริชนาอยู่กับตนเองอีก But Krishna told her that would not be possible. He said, "I, I can't stay with you for so long." กริชนาบอกว่าเป็นไปเป็นไปไม่ได้หรอกนะเพราะว่าฉันไม่สามารถที่จะอยู่กับเธอได้นานขนาดนั้น Krishna only visits the material world occasionally not very often กริชนาเนี่ยมาเยี่ยมเยียนในโลกวัตถุเนี่ยเป็นแค่บางครั้งบางคราวไม่ได้จะอยู่ที่นี่ตลอดไป But Krishna is always in the spiritual world he's eternally there แต่กริชนาเนี่ยจะอยู่ที่โลกทิพย์ He's in the Vaikuntha planets, and he's in Goloka Vrindavan planet. He's always there. Krishna, you, T, Vaikun, Dao, Ko, Hang, Vaikuntha, and Ko, Dao, Ko, Goloka Vrindavan, are same. You, T, Nan, same. So when he's in the spiritual world, that's called the Aprakat Lila. When he's in the spiritual world, that's called the Aprakat Lila. So Krishna satisfied Kubja with nice words, and then he went home with Uddhava. Krishna ก็ทำให้กุบจะพอใจด้วยการที่พูดจาดีดีพูดจาวันวาแล้วกริชนาก็ต้องกลับบ้านไปกับอุดวะ We should understand that it's not very easy to worship Krishna because Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. เราควรเข้าใจว่าการที่จะบูชากริชนาเนี่ยมันไม่ใช่เรื่องง่ายๆเพราะว่ากริชนาเนี่ยทรงเป็นบุคลิกภาพสูงสุดแห่งพระเจ้า And he is the chief of all the Vishnu Tattvas. Krishna is the original supreme personality of Godhead. แล้วกริชนาเนี่ยก็เป็นหัวหน้าในบรรดาวิชุตัตตวทั้งหมดเนี่ยกริชนาเป็นหัวหน้า So in the Sri Mad Bhagavatam we're warned, we're given a warning that to worship Krishna. Or to have association with Krishna is not very easy. มันมีคำเตือนในชรีมาตบอกว่าทำว่าการที่จะบูชากริชนาหรือการที่จะรับใช้กริชนาเนี่ยไม่ใช่เป็นเรื่องง่าย 
So there's a, the devotees are warned if they get attracted to Krishna in the mood of conjugal love, they have to be very careful. It's very dangerous for them to want sense gratification by association with Krishna. Sorry, Guru Maharaj, I can't please. If they want to have direct association with Krishna just for sense gratification, it's very bad, very dangerous. The, all the activities of sense gratification are material. Yeah. People, some in the material world, people sometimes they want to kiss and embrace Krishna. So in the spiritual world, there are symptoms like kissing and embracing, but there's no sense gratification. Sense gratification is only in the material world. In the spiritual world, there's no question of sense gratification for yourself, and you cannot. Some people, however, they think Krishna is an ordinary human being and they want to enjoy sense gratification with him. They even want to have sex with him. But in a spiritual relationship, nobody wants that kind of sense gratification. That sense gratification is so unpleasant to people on the spiritual platform. So if somebody wants to have a relationship with Krishna just for sense gratification, then they're not very intelligent, they're stupid. That kind of thinking has to be changed. It's so wrong. All right, so Krishna went home after visiting Kubja and then he decided he wanted to go and visit another devotee. He went to visit Akrura. He wanted to, do, to go to Akrura's house. Akrura had brought Krishna and Balaram from Vrindavan to Mathura and Akrura was anxious for Krishna to come to their home. So actually Akrura was a servant of Krishna and Krishna wanted to get some service from him. So Krishna went to see Akrura along with Lord Balaram and Uddhava. And so when Akrura saw them, the three of them all coming to his house, 
then Akrura came forward and he embraced Uddhava and he offered the obeisances to Krishna and Balaram. Right. So Uddhava offered the obeisances to them. Then Krishna and Balaram and Uddhava offered Akrura obeisances. Mm -hmm. Because Ud, Ud, uh, Akrura is their uncle, so Krishna and Balaram are very respectful to him. And Akrura gave them nice sitting places, and then Akrura washed their feet. And then he sprinkled the water on his head. And then he offered nice worship to Krishna and Balaram and Uddhava. He offered them clothing and flowers and sandalwood pulp. So everyone was very happy with Akrura's behavior. And Akrura then bowed down before Krishna and he put his head on the ground and Krishna's lotus feet were placed on his lap. And Akrura began to massage the lotus feet of Krishna. So Akrura was very satisfied to have Krishna and Balaram in his house and his eyes filled with tears of love for Krishna. So Akrura begins to offer prayers to Krishna and Balaram. Akrura is very expert in offering prayers. He became perfect in devotional service just by offering prayers. So Akrura prays, he says, My dear Krishna and Balaram, it's very kind that you have killed Kamsa and his associates. You have saved the whole Yadu dynasty from the greatest danger. The Yadus will always remember you for doing this. Then Akrura says, My dear Lord Krishna and Balaram, both of you are the original personality from whom everything comes. You have inconceivable energy and you are everywhere, all pervasive, you are everywhere. You are the real cause and effect of everything, gross and subtle. พระองค์ทรงเป็น 
จุดกําเนิดทั้งปวงไม่ว่าจะเป็นหยาบหรือว่าละเอียด And you are the supreme Brahman, which we realize when we study the Vedas. แล้วพระองค์ก็เป็นบรมันสูงสุดด้วยบรบรมันสูงสุดที่รู้แจ้งด้วยหลังจากที่เราได้ศึกษาคำพิพเวท So by your energy, by your inconceivable energy, you are actually visible before us. ด้วยพลังงานที่มองไม่เห็นของพระองค์เนี่ยความจริงพระองค์เนี่ยทรงปรากฏปรากฏต่อหน้าให้เราเห็นจริงๆ And you create the world by your own potency. You create the world and then you enter into it yourself. พระองค์เนี่ยทรงสร้างจักรวาลนี้ทั้งหมดด้วยพลังงานของตัวเองและพอสร้างเสร็จเนี่ยพระองค์ก็ทรงเข้ามาในจักรวาลนี้ด้วยตัวของพระองค์เอง And the five material elements, earth, water, fire, air, and ether, are all distributed in. Everything and all the different kinds of bodies. You create the bodies by your energy, and then you enter into the bodies also. You enter the body first of all as an individual soul, and then also as a super soul. พระองค์ทรงเสด็จเข้าไปในร่างกายในฐานะที่เป็นปัจเจกวิญญาณก่อนและหลังจากนั้นเนี่ยก็เข้าไปในฐานะที่เป็นอภิวิญญาณ Bhagavad Gita tells us the material body is created by Krishna's energy. ในบทกีตาเนี่ยบอกเราว่าในร่างกายวัตถุเนี่ยถูกสร้างโดยคริสนา And the individual souls are all Krishna's parts and parcels. แล้วก็ปัจเจกชีวิตเนี่ยเป็นส่วนหนึ่งของคริสนา And the super soul is Krishna's representative representation. อภิวิญญาณเนี่ยเป็นผู้แทนของคริสนา So the material body, the living entity, and the super soul make up. Uh, they make up an individual living being. There's three things. There's the body, material body, and then there's the living entity, the jiva, and then the paramatma or super soul. So this is there with every living entity. ในสิ่งมีชีวิตทั้งหมดเนี่ยจะมีประกอบไปด้วยสามอย่างก็คือจะมีปัจเจกวิญญาณอภิวิญญาณแล้วก็มีสิ่งมีชีวิตประทับอยู่มีวิญญาณธรรมดา So these are all different energies of the supreme lord นี่เนี่ยเป็นพลังงานต่างๆขององค์พระวาน In the material world we see the supreme lord creates Maintains and then dissolves the whole creation. In the world, we see that the Supreme Lord creates, and then dissolves the whole creation. In the world, we see that the Supreme Lord creates, and then dissolves the whole creation. In the world, we see that the Supreme Lord creates, and then dissolves the whole creation. In the world, we see that the Supreme Lord creates, and then dissolves the whole creation. In the world, we see that the Supreme Lord creates, and then dissolves the whole creation. In the world, we see that the Supreme Lord creates, and then dissolves the whole creation. In the world, we see that the Supreme Lord creates, and then dissolves the whole creation. In the world, we see that the Supreme Lord creates, and then dissolves the whole creation. In the world, we see that the Supreme Lord creates, and then dissolves the whole creation. In the world, we see that the Supreme Lord creates, Maintenance is goodness, and destruction is ignorance. การสร้างเนี่ยเป็นตัณหาแล้วก็การบำรุงรักษาเป็นความดีแล้วการทำลายเนี่ยเป็นอวิชชา But Krishna is not involved in the activities of the material world. แต่ Krishna เนี่ยจะไม่มีส่วนที่จะพัวพันหรือทำอะไรอยู่ในกิจกรรมทางวัตถุเหล่านี้ Krishna is the Krishna has the supreme knowledge, so he's never overcome by the knowledge of the living entity. Krishna's knowledge is greater than everybody else's. He is the supreme. ความรู้ของ Krishna เนี่ยเป็นความรู้ที่สูงสุดเพราะฉะนั้น Krishna จะไม่มีวันถูกสิ่งเหล่านี้ครอบงำได้มันไม่เหมือนกับพวกเราทั้งหลายที่เป็นปัจเจกชีวิตเนี่ยที่จะถูกครอบงำ
So Krishna enters the material creation and he causes the creation, maintenance and destruction in the course of Lâu. time. And we living entities, we enter the material elements and we have our material body created for us. So we should understand the difference between the living entities and the Supreme Lord. So the, the, the living entity is a part and parcel of the Supreme Lord. So he can be overcome by the material qualities. But Krishna is the Supreme Brahman. He's always in full knowledge. He's never overcome. So Krishna is called Achuta, means one who never falls down. So Krishna has knowledge of his spiritual identity. It's never overcome by the material nature. But the living entities like us, we forget our spiritual identity because of contact with the material energy. Uh, we are eternally part and parcel of Krishna. But we are tiny sparks. Krishna is the fire and we are the tiny spark. The, the spark can easily go out, but the big fire will never be put out. So we can be overcome by the material nature, but Krishna is never overcome. So Akrura is saying the in, people who are not intelligent they cannot understand your transcendental form. They think Krishna has a material form. His body is made of material energy. But Krishna's body is not material, it's all spiritual. And there's no difference between Krishna and Krishna's body. So Krishna is never conditioned. He's always liberated in any condition. He's always liberated. So only only stupid people think Krishna to be an ordinary person. So if we think of Krishna as an ordinary person, it's a big mistake. It's a big offense. 
ถ้าเราคิดว่าคริสต์นาเนี่ยเป็นเหมือนบุคคลธรรมดาทั่วไปมีร่างกายวัตถุทั่วไปเนี่ยเป็นความคิดที่ผิดมากมาก So the original knowledge of the Vedas is to help us to identify our ourselves as spiritual beings. ความรู้ในพระเวทดั้งเดิมเนี่ยเพื่อที่จะให้เรารู้ถึงให้ให้เรารู้ข้อแตกต่างความเป็นวัตถุและวัตถิ And Krishna comes to this world to help us to remember that we have an eternal relationship with Him. แล้วคริสต์นาเนี่ยทรงปรากฏมาในโลกวัตถุเนี่ยเพื่อที่จะให้เราเข้าใจแล้วก็ระลึกได้ว่าเราเนี่ยมีความสัมพันธ์ทิพย์กับพระองค์ And we should remember that we're not one with Krishna, we're not equal to Krishna, but we're always His servants. แล้วเราต้องคิดอยู่เสมอว่าเราไม่มีทางที่จะเป็นเหมือนคริสต์นาได้เราไม่ได้อยู่ในระดับเดียวกับคริสต์นาเราเป็นเพียงแค่ผู้รับใช้คริสต์นาเท่านั้น So Krishna comes to this world to establish Vedic knowledge, real Vedic knowledge. Krishna มาในโลกวัตถุเนี่ยเพื่อที่จะสถาปนาความรู้พระเวทความรู้พระเวทที่แท้จริง The atheists they try to say that God and the living entities are one and the same. And they say all the people are equal to God. พวกที่ไม่เชื่อในรูปหลักไม่เชื่อในพระเจ้าจะบอกว่าพระเจ้าหรือพลังงานของพระเจ้าหรือทุกอย่างเนี่ยเป็นหนึ่งทุกอย่างเท่ากันกับพระเจ้าทั้งหมด So Akrura says Dear Lord Krishna you have appeared along with your brother Balaram in the home of Vasudev as his son and your mission is to kill all the atheistic royal families all the atheistic kings Akrura ก็บอกว่าพระองค์เนี่ยทรงมาเป็นคริสนาลาบาลารามแล้วก็เป็นบุตรของวาสุเดวะมาเพื่อที่จะสังหารพวกที่ไม่เชื่อในรูปหลักทั้งหมดพวกที่ไม่เชื่อรูปหลักที่เป็นกษัตริย์ทั้งหมด You have come to this world to to uh, to stop these people from burdening the world from bringing a big burden on the earth แล้วก็พระองค์ก็ทรงมาเพื่อที่จะขจัดพวกคนที่ทำให้หนักโลก And you also came to give honor to the Yadu dynasty by appearing in the family of the Yadus. แล้วพระองค์ก็มาเพื่อที่จะเป็นเกียรติเพื่อให้ราชวงศ์ยดูเนี่ยได้รับเกียรติด้วยการปรากฏของพระองค์ So today you have come to my home, so I'm the most fortunate person in the world. แล้วก็บอกเราวันนี้พระองค์มาที่บ้านของข้าเพราะฉะนั้นข้าถือว่าตัวเองเนี่ยเป็นผู้ที่มีโชคดีที่สุดในโลกเลย And you are worshipped by all different kinds of demigods and kings and all living entities พระองค์เนี่ยเป็นผู้ที่มีการบูชาจากเทวดาต่างๆกษัตริย์แล้วก็จากเทพเทวดาต่างๆแล้วก็สิ่งมีชีวิตทั้งหมด You are the super soul of everything, and you have come to my home. พระองค์ทรงเป็นอภิวิญญาณของทุกทุกอย่างเลยและพระองค์เนี่ยทรงมาที่บ้านของข้า And the water which washes your lotus feet purifies the three worlds. น้ำที่ล้างพระบาทลูกดอกบัวของพระองค์เนี่ยจะสามารถทำให้โลกทั้งสามโลกนั้นบริสุทธิ์ขึ้นได้ And so, any intelligent person will take shelter of your lotus feet and surrender to you. ใครก็ตามเนี่ยเป็นที่เป็นบุคคลที่มีปัญญาเนี่ยจะมาที่พระบาทรูปดอกบัวของพระองค์แล้วก็จะสิรนา They should know that if because you're you're so kind to your devotees, so everyone will want to take it. Uh, everyone will want to become your devotee because you are so kind to all your devotees. And you are the best friend of every living entity. And you, you. 
fulfill all the desires of your devotees. You're the real, you're the real friend of everyone. So Kuris is very difficult for even great mystic yogis and demigods to know your movements or to approach you. But out of your mercy, you have come to my home. So this is the most auspicious moment in my journey in, the, in this material existence. Akuras is my home, my wife, my children, all my possessions, they are all bondage to the material world. So he asked Krishna, please cut that knot, save me from this entanglement. Please help me to get free from this so-called illusion of friendship and love in the material world. So Lord Krishna was very pleased by Akrura's prayers. And Krishna replied to Akrura, he told Akrura, he said, I consider you my superior, you're on the level like my father and teacher and you're the most well-wishing friend. And Krishna said, I should be worshipping you because you're my uncle. And I should, I'm, I, you should protect me. And you should maintain me. I'm one of your, I'm like one of your own children, so you should look after me. And then Krishna said, any, but in, in any case, you're a great devotee, and a great devotee is always to be worshipped by everyone. So anyone who wants good fortune, he should offer his obeisances to personalities like you, like Akrura. You are greater than the demigods. People worship the demigods when they want some sense gratification and the demigods give some benediction to their devotees when they get worshipped. But a devotee like Akrura, you're always ready to give people benediction. You always offer benedictions to people, even if they're devotees or not. So 
The demigods will only give benedictions after they get worshipped, but devotees will give benediction without that. You have to go to a holy place in order to get some benefit from the place. If you don't go there, the holy place won't benefit you. And worshipping demigods, you have to wait a long time to get your desires fulfilled. But a saintly person like Akrura it will immediately fulfill all the desires of a devotee. So Krishna tells Akrura, you are always our friend and well-wisher. You're always ready to act for our welfare. So I want you to go to Hastinapur and see what's happened to the Pandavas. So Krishna was anxious about the Pandavas because their father had been, he, de he, was, he died, you know, the father Pandu passed away uh, when the children were very young. And so they were left in the care of their uncle, Dhritarashtra. So Krishna said that after Maharaj Pandu's death, then the five sons and, and their widow mother, Kunti, then they're under the care of Dhritarashtra and he's not very affectionate to them. Dhritarashtra gets influenced by his cruel son, Duryodhan. So, because of Duryodhana's influence, Dhritarashtra doesn't take good care of the Pandavas. So Krishna asked Akrura, you, I want you to go there and see how Dhritarashtra is dealing with the Pandavas. And when I, when I get report from you, then I will think what to do. So Akrura is to go to Hastinapur and Krishna and Balaram and Uddhava, they went home. So the next chapter we'll hear about Dhritarashtra, what Dhritarashtra is doing. Okay, so that's the end of the chapter. Are there any questions? Uh, yes, Shaya. 
Wish I a happy birthday first, right? Yesterday was your birthday. Yes, <laughs> How old are you? Six, 16? <laughs> My soul is always 16, Guru Maharaj. Yes, right. Good. You, you are the soul. I'm always, you're always 16. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I and many devotees are of equal age of soul. <laughs> yes, you're right. <laughs> very, Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Very good. เอ่อกันไปอ่ะค่ะคําถามของพี่คือคุณเคยได้ยินในในเรื่องราวของปิชนาที่ปิชนาเกิดมาหลายชาติแล้วก็มีผิวสีต่างๆค่ะมีสี
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has assumed the golden color because his mood is the mood of Srimati Radharani. And you've got Varahas, Lord Varaha, the boar incarnation, there's a white incarnation and there's a red incarnation, different colours, different times, because the Varaha, Lord Varaha is a Lila avatar, so it comes and, you know, it's not just one time, it comes many times. They come in every yuga, you know, and you have, the, you have many yugas, you have divya yugas, divya yugas. Divya yugas mean the four ages. So in the four ages the Lord comes. And this, it means in one day of Brahma, there will be 1,000 Divya Yugas. So that means 1,000 Satya Yugas. So in every Satya Yuga, the Lord would come in a white colour, because that's the Yuga avatar. So in every Satya Yuga, He comes white. And remember, Lord Brahma lives a long time. Lord Brahma lives for 100 years. 100 years is 12 months in every year, and there's 30 days in every month. And in one day of Brahma, there's a one thousand divya yugas. But you should understand, when the Lord comes, His colour is not material, it's transcendental. The, the form of Krishna is never of the material world. So you may think you're thinking about blue and red as you know it, but actually in Krishna's body it's a very different thing. It's always transcendental. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so I can't really tell you anymore, but <laughs> just something about there's many, many avatars, as many as there are waves on the ocean. So unlimited numbers of avatars are there and they have come in different colours, in different forms and perform many, many pastimes. Mm. Okay. Okay, Okay, Guru Maharaj, thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay, so next question is from Yogita Sharma. Yes, Yogita, what's your question? Hare Krishna, Gurudev, please accept humble obeisances. 
Gurudev, I was uh, just wanted to ask, as uh, we can see, Akrura, such a high personality, even Kuntipuri, they're asking the Lord for the, his mercy because it's that difficult to get released from the relations and the bonds that we have with people in this material world. No matter how much we try, Gurudev, it is really very difficult. If they are requesting Gurudev, imagine us. How should I look at this, Gurudev? How, how, I mean, it seems really no matter how much we try. Well, I don't think Akrura is actually really entangled with these things, but I think he's offering that prayer by way of teaching us, helping us to see our own condition. I don't think it's a problem for Uddhava. Uddhava is a great devotee, and we heard how he went to Mathura, how he went to Vrindavan to bring Krishna, and how he offered prayers there. You know, he's got a very special relationship with Lord Krishna, but he's offering that prayer. He's asking not to be attached to the family and the home and all these things, to teach us that we should also not want to be attached, too much attached, too much, you know. คริชนาเนี่ยช่วยที่จะให้เกรงเนี่ยปลดเปลื้องจากพันธนาการจากครอบครัวลูกๆแล้วก็ความสัมพันธ์ต่างๆแล้วมัตตจีก็บอกว่
call every time, talk about how I'm serving or I want to do this and I want to do anything and everything related to the Lord, I can talk with her. And I don't have, that is the reason I am so attached to her birthday that I get worried about, you know, I, I don't know how to deal with such a, that makes me get worried about, you know, her. No matter what she's doing, I just have a tendency to get worried. ก็คิดถึงจุดนี้เพราะว่ามีคุณแม่ของตัวเองคุณแม่เนี่ยเป็นแค่หนึ่งคนในครอบครัวที่เอ่อคอยอยู่เคียงข้างเสมอคอยร
ที่จะสนองประสาทสัมผัสของตัวเองอย่างเช่นอยากจะกินอาหารอร่อยอร่อยรสชาติต่างๆเราก็ไม่ต้องมีความรู้สึกแบบนั้นเราจะมีความรู้สึกแค่ทําให้กริชนาพอพอไทยแล้วเราก็มีความสุขจุดที่3ที่มันจะชอบมากก็คือจุดที่ว่าไม่มีใครจะรักเราหรือไม่มีใครจะใจดีกับเราได้หรือว่าเมตตาเราได้มากเท่ากับกริชนา Yes, very much. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, you know any question? You know, m a t a j i Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. Uh, my question is: uh, How can we understand? Uh, is Krishna uh, satisfied uh, with our uh, service? Because I feel I have no qualifications to serve Krishna. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, uh, 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 um, The devotees. If the devotees are satisfied, then Krishna will be satisfied. You satisfy the devotees. You serve the devotees, and in this way, if they are satisfied, then you know Krishna will be satisfied. เนี่ยมีความพึงพอใจกับการรับใช้ของเราก็แสดงว่ากริชนาเนี่ยก็พึงพอใจกับการรับใช้ของเราเราดูสาวกเป็นทางผ่าน We can't we, we don't go to Krishna directly We don't go to Krishna We go through the devotees So you have to please the devotees เราจะไม่พยายามทำให้กริชนาพึงพอพระทัยโดยตรงเราจะดูจากสาวกเรามีหน้าที่ในการทำให้สาวกพอใจมากกว่ากริชนาโอเค Yes good news Thank you very much All right Any other questions anybody มีคำถามอะไรเพิ่มอีกไหมคะ No Okay So thank you We thank k a n a p r i y a m a r i j i very much for her translation Thank you so much, Gurmash, for the opportunity. Thank for all the devotees for their listening and questions, and we hope you all have a good night. And we'll be back on Friday for Ishopanishad. Okay. ขอบคุณสาวกทุกคนนะคะขอให้ good night แล้วก็กลับมาเจอกันวันศุกร์กับสำหรับคลาสอิสโอปนิชัดนะคะขอบคุณค่ะ Hare Krishna, Shri Prabhupada ki jai.